Good morning, Niger. I'm Zoe Chinaka. Now I have with me two interesting gentlemen that will be talking to us about a trade fair that will be commencing tomorrow. Now, you don't want to change that dial because this will definitely interest you. In 2014, interestingly, we became the largest economy in Africa. Yes, we beat South Africa to that. And thanks to agriculture, the sector, which, of course, we know who sits at the helm of that affair, Mr. Akiomi Adeshino. He has been the minister. And guess what? Agricultural sector has grown immensely. We now sit at 23% as a contribution to that um, sector. We'll be telling you more how we can actually expand and develop that scene and sector to grow our economy even much more. I have with me two gentlemen, like I said, they are all the way from Germany. I've got with me Martin Mars. He is the managing director of Fair Trade Mess. And um, I also have with me Dominic Zepka. He is uh, far left to me, he is uh, the public relations uh, manager. Together, we shall be talking about this interesting three days that we are starting starting tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. Good Actually, morning. the show starts today, it starts today and runs until Thursday. It runs till Thursday. Oh, dear. Absolutely. So it starts today and then runs till Thursday. So it's a three, a four day then. Three days. Um, and uh, If we're adding Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, this Thursday? Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Okay, so today is just like uh, oh, um, a groundwork? Mantling day. Yes. It's a what? It's building up. Building up to the trade fair. Yeah. So let's start with today. So what's happening today? Tell us about today. I mean, today um, actually uh, <coughs> is um, the official opening of the exhibition, and we are expecting uh, nobody less than the ambassador of the European Union from the delegation of the European Union to um, Nigeria, okay. together with the representative of the Nigerian Ministry of Agriculture, especially the um, uh, uh, director of Lagos State, they will jointly open the exhibition together with the consul generals of France and Germany. And so the exhibition proper starts today? It starts on Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, and um, then we have also from, the, from some European associations like German Engineering Association, BDNA, and the French Agro-Food Tech Association, ADEPTA. They will all be uh, joining us for the official opening also, um, the German Technical Corporation, they will be there. We have a lot of projects already who are implemented in Nigeria since more than 30 years. And um, they are special, they are specialists. Hey, let me just throw this in. Why Nigeria? I mean, why now and why Nigeria? Is it because we're now the biggest um, economy in Africa? <laughs> why, why is it? Yes, uh, as you mentioned it in your introduction uh, part, it, it is like this. Uh, Nigeria is uh, the fastest growing uh, economy and the biggest uh, economy in Africa and of course has a huge demand in uh, products and machinery, in uh, food processing and packaging uh, to guarantee food uh, safety and high quality of food products. Yes, as uh, the consumer behavior in Nigeria is changing, of course. People more go to supermarkets and want to eat uh, packaged food and yeah. have long-lasting food at home. Nice. And, and like I told you off the air, I mentioned challenges like electricity. I do know that. I mean, if we look at the chain of production, we, we, we it starts from the farmers and then it moves over to the people that take these um, produce. They take it and then they process it. It goes to the entrepreneurs exactly. yeah. and then the distributors. And it moves over to consumers, definitely. That's how the chain works. Exactly. So within that chain, I'm of the opinion that electricity has, you know, not once, not twice been a pressing issue with us here in Nigeria. I mean, with these tools and equipments, you know, you're setting aside to inform us about, to open up the market, but still, how, how would you, don't you think that would still be a stampede? Absolutely. I mean, uh, electricity is the basis for everything. Um, uh, maybe it will uh, help. We are just also preparing another exhibition, International Trade Show, for next year, for 2016, which is called Clean Technology, Clean Tech Nigeria where we are going to focus on all issues concerning e environmental issues and also clean energy. So um, I think that Nigeria has a, lo a lot of potential uh, in the generation of clean e energy and uh, also the um, uh, environmental um, issues becoming more and more relevant in the country. So we are going to focus on that show 
okay. or next year. Okay. Um, I'd like to add something also to your question uh, before. Actually, just to show how important the mm, Nigerian food industry is, uh, we speak about 1.5 million employees in this sector, in Nigeria only. And um, the um, uh, Nigerian food industry contributes 22% to the overall Nigerian manufacturing industry. That means one fifth of all the manufacturing industry is food industry food, related yeah. and packaging related. And we speak about a turnover of 16 billion euro. Can you imagine? It is just amazing. So it is, um, I think, high time to come with a dedicated um, international food industry exhibition uh, to demonstrate latest technologies in mm. um, the country from all over the world actually uh, latest findings you know we there is a lot of exhibitors here 91 exhibitors from oh 26 yeah. countries uh, are they are here from Tuesday to Thursday at the landmark center and um, they have I mean altogether they might have a hundred thousand patents they are really technology leaders, you know, and they are, they come to uh, to develop the. Well, Nigerian we still have industry. exhibitors representing Nigeria. Absolutely, here. yeah. There is, uh, I think, uh, fifteen companies uh, from Nigeria, and we are very glad also to work with a lot of media in Nigeria, and with the IOPN, the Institute of uh, Packaging Nigeria, for instance. We have a lot of support from the country itself. And yes, this from is very the government, to us. and Absolutely. I think that's you know. It's of, it's of keynote, honestly, Absolutely. because packaging has been an issue. Even when we have the produce, we have these crops, and we want to develop, we want to take it further, we don't have you know, the tools, the right equipment to actually get those things done. But still on the International Trade Fair, that we, this is the, that's the business that starts tomorrow, starting today, but of course, exhibition proper starts tomorrow. Let's talk about what will be said. I mean, who are these keynote speakers? Who are the key companies that will be teaching and um, getting these people on board to open the market? Yes, uh, there will be, uh, starting from tomorrow uh, afternoon, there will be seminars, as I already mentioned before. And uh, this is seminars held by Festo Automation. Mm -hmm. It's a company, uh, KHS, and mm -hmm. it's from GIZ. This is a German association. But still on agri-food, um, agriculture, this is going to be a fair trade. Are we looking to, will there be, um, of course you've mentioned seminars, will there be meeting points for connecting you know, people to meet, um, to get ideas out, to you know, get this developed perchance. We have people like that that will be coming out to look for those kind of, not talents, but those you know, small businesses, people with big minds, Absolutely. but of course they have no means. Will there yeah, be provision I mean, for that? We have uh, quite uh, a bit of uh, experience in, uh, in working in West Africa, as we have done th the same kind of show already in, in Accra, in Ghana. And what we noticed is that um, many um, founders are coming to the exhibition to get new ideas for their uh, newly established companies. And here, for instance, we have a lot of um, companies active in the food ingredients part participating, and they can deliver all kinds of recipes, uh, um, uh, no, especially for the Nigerian market, and they can also uh, deliver a lot of uh, products with which those founders of uh, companies, they can then go on to the Nigerian market, make money for their families and for the society. Tell us how people can participate. I mean, I'm watching right now and I really want to be there because I'm a small farmer, you know, I have this small farm, but still I want to, you know, get some equipment, some tools that will help me grow my business. How can I be part of it? Yes, uh, the event uh, is from 28 uh, till 30 April at the Landmark Center and the people uh, can come to uh, uh, the event and register, fill out a formula to give their contact details and uh, in which industry sector they are active. Afterwards, they will receive their visitor badge and then it's done. It's done. It's free of charge. <laughs> it's really been nice, you know, <laughs> speaking with you, um, Martin Mars and Dominic Zepka. Thank you, that right. I'm very just so Thank you very much. cool like that. I'm very German like that. <laughs> 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 All right, there you have it. Um, Good Morning Nigeria show will continue after this short break. But if you want to be part of the international agri-food, um, plastic and um, processing industry and the trade fair, which starts tomorrow, today, but the exhibition proper starts tomorrow, then all you need to do is you need to go onto the website. What's the website again? Agrofood-nigeria.com.
All right, so it's www.agrofood-niger.com. Thank you, Martin. Thank you very Thank much, you. Gloria. Thank you, Gloria. All right, we'll be right back after this short break. Stay with us.